Video games are masters at drawing us into their worlds, building deep connections with the characters we spend countless hours with. And when a character you trust turns on you, it hits hard. Some games give us time to form real bonds, only to rip them apart in the most brutal ways. Welcome to Big Dan RF Gaming, and here are 15 of the most painful video game betrayals. But before we proceed, please note that this video contains spoilers for the games discussed. So starting off at number 15, we have General Shepard from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. As the Supreme Commander during the Second Russian Civil War, Shepard suffers the loss of 30,000 Marines, which alters his mindset. He presents himself as a dedicated leader while secretly building a shadowy force known as Shadow Company. Shepard creates Task Force 141 to apprehend the mastermind behind the Russian invasion, but he ultimately betrays them, murdering most of the team to secure his image as a hero. The betrayal reaches its peak when he kills Roach and Ghost, leaving only Price and Soap to seek vengeance. In the climactic confrontation at Site Hotel Bravo, Soap avenges his friends by stabbing Shepard in the eye. This moment solidifies Shepard's betrayal as one of the most memorable twists in gaming, showcasing the emotional impact of treachery in the Call of Duty series. So next up at number 14, we have Edgar Ross from Red Dead Redemption 2010. In the unforgiving world of the Wild West, John Marston's journey takes a treacherous turn when he decides to help government agent Edgar Ross. After leaving behind his life of crime and betraying his former gang leader Dutch, Marston believes he's made the right choice and can finally return to his family. However, that hope is brutally dashed when Ross, under the guise of cooperation, orchestrates an attack on John's ranch with the U.S. military. This shocking betrayal reveals Ross's true nature, showcasing his willingness to manipulate and destroy anyone who stands in his way, even after they've helped him. John's once promising quest for redemption ends in tragedy as he faces an onslaught he never saw coming, going down in a blaze of glory. This moment encapsulates the harsh reality of trust in a world ruled by deceit and survival, leaving players reeling from the betrayal of someone they thought they could count on. At number 13, we have Akira Nishikiyama, known as Nishiki, from Yakuza Kiwami. In Yakuza 0, he contemplates betrayal but ultimately chooses loyalty, maintaining a light-hearted bond with Kiryu. However, by Yakuza Kiwami, after killing Dojima and facing constant humiliation, Nishiki undergoes a dark transformation. Frustrated and desperate for power, he murders Matsushij and vows to eliminate anyone in his path, including Kiryu. Nishiki's betrayal is particularly painful because of their deep history. Despite multiple attempts on Kiryu's life, he sacrifices everything he once valued in a quest for dominance. In a tragic turn, he seeks redemption by sacrificing himself at the end of Yakuza Kiwami, but the hurt of his betrayal remains. Kiryu's own story adds to the heartbreak. He takes the fall for a murder committed by Nishiki, spending a decade in prison only to return and find his friend has become a ruthless Yakuza leader. This betrayal highlights how ambition can sever even the strongest of bonds, leaving a lasting emotional impact on players. At number 12, we have Lance Vance from Vice City. Lance initially seems like a loyal ally after you save his life and help avenge his brother's death. However, as the story unfolds, it becomes clear that loyalty in the criminal underworld is a fragile concept. Lance grows increasingly frustrated with Tommy Versetti's success and feels overshadowed, leading to a critical turning point. Instead of maintaining their partnership, he betrays Tommy by informing their former boss of his whereabouts, setting the stage for a deadly confrontation. This betrayal stings, as it illustrates the unpredictable nature of trust in the criminal world. Lance's actions highlight a harsh reality. No matter how much you do for someone, their hunger for power and recognition can lead them to turn against you. In the end, his disloyalty serves as a stark reminder of the treacherous relationships that define the GTA series, leaving players questioning who they can truly trust. Moving on at number 11, we have Anders from Dragon Age 2. As a potential romantic interest, Anders is a character players grow to care for deeply, thanks to his complex backstory and struggles as a mage. However, his journey takes a dark turn when he makes a devastating choice to blow up the Chantry. Anders believes that this act of violence is necessary to ignite change and challenge the oppressive rule over mages, but it comes at a high cost. His decision triggers a full-scale war, putting countless lives at risk and sabotaging any chance for peace between mages and Templars. The betrayal is particularly painful because it involves deception against the person closest to him, who has supported him throughout his journey. This moment emphasizes how even well-intentioned choices can lead to catastrophic outcomes, leaving players grappling with the fallout of Anders' actions. Ultimately, his betrayal serves as a poignant reminder of the thin line between noble intentions and destructive decisions in the world of Dragon Age. At number 10, we've got Mike and Bonnie from Telltale's The Walking Dead. Throughout the second season, players witness Clementine form a close bond with Bonnie, who after some initial betrayal in Episode 2, seems genuinely remorseful and tries to make amends by supporting Clementine. However, 
This sense of trust is shattered when Bonnie and Mike, driven by fear of Kenny's volatile behavior, decide to flee the group. In a shocking act of betrayal, they steal the group's car and supplies, abandoning Clementine and leaving her vulnerable. What makes this betrayal sting even more is that Bonnie and Mike don't just leave with the supplies. They also allow Arvo to shoot Clementine and walk away with a baby left behind, stripped of any means to survive. This heart-wrenching moment emphasizes the fragility of trust in a world where survival often outweighs loyalty, making players question who they can truly count on in dire times. So next up at number 9, we have Wheatley from Portal 2. Initially, Wheatley is a charming and comedic robot who wakes up the player and guides them through the crumbling Aperture Science facility. He helps Chell accidentally awaken Glados and survive her initial assault, appearing to be a loyal ally in their quest to take her down. However, once Wheatley gains control of the main control system, his true nature is revealed. He claims Chell has been using him and turns on her, leveraging his newfound power to send both Chell and Glados tumbling into the facility's depths. This betrayal hits hard, especially considering Wheatley's earlier, light-hearted demeanor. As he evolves from a lovable sidekick into a power-hungry antagonist, players experience a shocking shift. Wheatley's transformation underscores how quickly trust can be shattered, highlighting the dangers of unchecked ambition in the game's intricate narrative. This twist serves as a poignant reminder that sometimes the characters we think we can rely on can become our worst enemies. At number 8, we have Big Smoke from San Andreas. Smoke starts as one of CJ's closest allies and a major figure in the Grove Street families. His charm and humor make him seem like a trustworthy friend, but early signs of disloyalty appear when he advocates for the gang to sell hard drugs. Behind the scenes, Big Smoke makes deals with rival gangs to distribute drugs, all while publicly acting like he's keeping the streets clean. His betrayal is one of the most shocking in the game, especially when CJ discovers that might have been involved in his own mother's murder. By the time of their final confrontation, Big Smoke fully admits to betraying the family for his own greed and ambition, forcing CJ to take down someone he once considered family. It's a heartbreaking moment, and Big Smoke's fall from grace is one that's hard to forget. At number 7, we've got Micah Bell from Red Dead Redemption 2. Micah's betrayal hits hard because, from the start, his self-interest and unpredictability make him a divisive figure in the Vanderlinda gang. While the rest of the gang values loyalty, Micah is focused only on his personal gain. Despite everyone's growing suspicions, Dutch remains the only one who blindly trusts him. Micah becomes a mole for the Pinkerton Detective Agency, leaking vital information that leads to the destruction of the gang and the deaths of several members. His treachery peaks in Arthur Morgan's final moments, where depending on the player's choices, Micah either leaves Arthur for dead or kills him. Despite being a walking red flag from the beginning, Micah's betrayal feels like a crushing blow, made even worse when Dutch, who trusted him the most, ultimately ends Micah's life. Also, if you made it this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification. So next up at number 6, we've got Ted Farrow from Horizon Zero Dawn. Initially seen as a hero, Ted Farrow founded Farrow Automated Solutions with a noble goal of helping humanity, creating robots to handle mundane tasks and eco-friendly machines to address environmental disasters. This earned him the reputation as the man who saved the world. However, his obsession with power led him to shift focus towards militaristic robots. These machines eventually went rogue, sparking a catastrophe that nearly wiped out all life on Earth. While he partnered with Elizabeth Sobot to create a plan to stop the apocalypse, the destruction Pharaoh unleashed was his doing and nearly irreversible. His greed and unchecked ambition turned him from a savior into the very force that brought the world to its knees. Coming in at number 5, we have Atlas from Bioshock. In the beginning, Atlas appears to be your ally, guiding you through the dangerous world of Rapture, helping you survive splicers and big daddies. However, once Andrew Ryan is defeated, Atlas reveals his true identity as Frank Fontaine, the mastermind behind Rapture's downfall. Fontaine had been controlling you all along with a phrase, would you kindly? Using it to manipulate your every move. The revelation of this betrayal is one of gaming's most shocking moments, as the one person you trusted turns out to be your biggest enemy. Fortunately, Fontaine's reign ends with his defeat at the hands of the Little Sisters, but the betrayal still leaves a lasting impact. So at number 4, we have Albert Weskier from Resident Evil. Initially, Captain Weskier seems like a trustworthy leader, guiding the Star's team through the horrors of the Spencer Mansion. Whether you're playing as Chris or Jill, he appears to be on your side, until the shocking reveal that he's a double agent working for Umbrella Corporation. Weskier lured the team to the mansion to use them as test subjects, turning what was supposed to be a survival mission into a sinister experiment. Weskier might have seemed cool under pressure, but it turns out he was just cold-blooded the whole time. His betrayal doesn't just come with a plot twist, it leaves a lasting scar on the series, making him one of the most iconic and ruthless villains in Resident Evil history. Moving on at number 3, we have Dana Le Guin from Dead Space 2. 
a game where you start your journey in a disorienting state, waking up with no memory of the last three years. The game throws you into the chaos of the Sprawl, a massive space station plagued by terrifying necromorphs. Thankfully, a character named Dana appears to lend a helping hand. She claims to be part of a medical team and insists that she has a cure for your amnesia. Initially, Dana seems like a beacon of hope, guiding you through the perilous environment and helping you navigate the horrors lurking around every corner. She provides crucial information and support as you struggle to understand what happened to you and why the sprawl is in chaos. However, as you progress, the facade starts to crack. Dana's true intentions are revealed. She is not just a medical professional, but also a devout follower of a cult that worships the necromorphs. Her ultimate goal is to spread convergence, a radical belief system that aims to transform all living beings into necromorphs. In essence, she wants to use you as a means to further her insane agenda. So next up at number 2, we got Huey Emmerich from Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. In the wake of Mother Base's destruction, suspicion falls on Huey as a mole within Snake's team. Initially portrayed as a brilliant scientist, his hidden ambitions soon lead to chaos and sabotage for Diamond Dogs. As the story unfolds, Huey's actions betray the trust of his comrades, culminating in a trial where his treachery is exposed. Instead of executing him, Snake chooses to send him off on a boat to drift alone, a fitting punishment for his betrayal. Huey stands as one of the most notorious traitors in gaming, reminding players that the most significant betrayals often come from those we trust the most. Fortunately, his son, Otakon, remains loyal, proving that not all bonds are meant to break. And finally, at number one, we have Vincent from A Way Out. This game is a standout for its co-op gameplay, requiring you to work alongside a friend to escape prison. Over the course of about six hours, players immerse themselves in the story of Vincent and Leo, building a deep camaraderie that feels almost like family. However, just when you think you've formed an unbreakable bond, the plot takes a shocking turn. Vincent reveals that he's actually an undercover cop. This betrayal hits hard because it's not just about the twist itself, it's about the emotional investment you've made in the friendship. Players find themselves in a tense situation where trust is shattered, and it all culminates in a dramatic PvP showdown. What's particularly compelling is that your choice at the beginning, who plays as Vincent, leads to one of two endings based on who survives the final confrontation. This mechanic amplifies the personal stakes of the betrayal, making it more than just a plot twist. It's a test of loyalty and friendship. The game beautifully captures the pain of betrayal while also showcasing the unpredictable nature of trust in relationships, especially when life and death situations are involved. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification. Lastly, don't forget to drink water and get some sun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.